This is called Girl for All Seasons. Summer. A girl sits poolside at a kidney bean shaped pool. There's a Lipton iced tea bottle sitting on the glass table a few meters away. The water is a living kaleidoscope. Kicking legs ruin the mathematical formula that makes the whole thing make sense. Little bugs float around. Those little bugs with oars for wings swim around the chlorinated home. The bricks surrounding the water soak up the sun, storing it for later when the sun leaves. At night, the world turns charcoal. Faces turn pearlescent. Standing on the rock tiles outside, little lights can be seen in other houses on the hill, glowing from the inside out. Little stick people migrating outside, where they will stay for the rest for the next three months. The smell of burnt sausages moves in too. Mozzie spray covers everything like a scratchy blanket, but it's better than running fingers over the white, stiff skin of a mosquito bite. Wearing shorts reluctantly, because the sweaty men on the side of the road wearing high vis will whistle and call out. The way little kids never stay inside, there's always something more exciting somewhere else. Rainbow-colored icy poles melting and running down fingers, sticky and sugary glue, the, fearing, the feeling of ice on the back of the neck. Autumn. Flash floods submerge the suburbs. The dusty water floats all through, almost unnoticed, and settles. The weather is kinder, less heat, less sweat, and less distraction. Summer is showing, but only in fragments. Heat waves live enough to their names. The house is warm, flies fly less, but they can still be heard somewhere, annoying someone else. When I was 10, our primary school classrooms had fridges in them for us to store our lunch. After school, I went into the I went into the fridge to get my water bottle. I'd left it there all semester. Opening the plastic lid, I took a mouthful of stale water. My teeth closed shut on something solid, and I spat it out. The body of a half-chewed fly was just lying in the center of my hand in a pool of water. Early morning starts for the first time in months, waking up at the same time as five different birds, the native birds that live in the area. There was a girl I knew who loved horses and twilight. I remember sleeping over at her house and being terrified of the cardboard cutout of Edward in her room, looking over at me like a creepy stalker. For some reason, I thought that I could lie about having the pirated copy of the movie, even though I would have no proof to show her. I don't remember giving her any evidence where I got it from, who or, who or when, who, when, or who from. Uh, but she believed me. I had never lied so, late, so blatantly before in my entire life. Winter. The sun hides. A curtain of wispy white clouds blocks it, keeping all the heat for themselves. Little puffs of icy breath are exposed with the expanding and contracting of lungs. Inside, we freeze. Bones stiffen, veins protrude, and we cover up. Coats and scarves are dusted off, and large spaces in our wardrobes are like empty coffins. Pools are off limits. The kaleidoscopes are there still, but the threat of turning into an icicle proves too intim intimidating. Hot chocolates burn upper, upper lips. Early morning Macca's coffee runs to fight the coldness from the front line. Cold noses are, the only, are only made colder with ashy cigarette smoke. People holding their breath as they walk past those designated areas. People do anything to stay warm. Cold feet seem to be the only things that stay cold, even when everything else is warm. A friend of mine used to like walking around in singlets in winter. I got the impression she was pretending she didn't feel the cold. Maybe she wanted to get attention, but to me it just looked like she was trying to freeze from the inside out. That was seven years ago. Now she holds a cigarette between her teeth, and I assume she's trying to keep herself warm. Spring. The new year is looming. Flowers are being born, learning how big and loud the world is. Everything is new. Petals that have never seen the world. Pollens the bees haven't touched yet. Jacarandas unfurl their purple curls and after a few weeks they'll fall and litter the ground. There's a tree outside my house with the trunk of a gum, but leaves that are unidentifiable. On the branches there are these little brown pods that rattle when you shake them. There was a girl up the road who used to play with me in the cool spring afternoons. She bought her basketball because I never played, and we would take turns in knocking down as many pods as we could from the tree. She was much taller than me, so she was better. She played netball her entire life. Our feet grated on the little stones that made up my driveway, and then when it was too dark, she went home. She always won the game, but sometimes I'd hit the jackpot and knock down a whole cluster of them. She moved away, and I stayed exactly where I am. You don't talk about it.